Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog channel. <laughs> I look like crap. Um, it is literally 12.15 and I've not even put makeup on today. I've been so busy this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna break down some boxes. So I figured I would catch you guys up while I'm doing that. I had these boxes all stacked in my office for so long. I finally was like, okay, need to get rid of them. Um, so we did not post, I think I posted only two vlogs last week and like, to the week before, it's been a little crazy. Um, I started Orange Theory, and I talked about that a lot on my Instagram, and I get a lot of requests to talk about it, and like my thoughts on it, and honestly, it was, I mean, it's hard to kind of talk about what I've only gone to three classes, but so far, I absolutely love it. It's a, I mean, you can look up what Orange Theory is, but it's basically like a personal trainer based class style. So like you are in a class with other people, there's only one trainer, but they're like training you individually in a way. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I really love it. I burned like 500, I think it was like 511 calories today in a one hour workout. So it is intense, but it is so good. Um, and so I started that last week on like Wednesday and I think I was just so tired and like discombobulated from even like trying something else and getting out of my normal routine that like it was just rough on saturday like why are there boxes on boxes falling out of each other good lord um on saturday i did not post a vlog because and i talked about it this morning on my insta sadly we had to put our little max to sleep um our hedgehog he, Sam had noticed, I want to say it was like a week ago, maybe even before that, that he had stopped eating as much. Um, and he already didn't eat a ton. I mean, he's a tiny little hedgehog. He was six years old, which is super, super old for a hedgehog. And we, like even the vet, when we took him, she was like, whoa, he's six? Um, he had like stopped eating a little bit, but he kind of made a turn. Like we noticed he wasn't eating. And then all of a sudden he was like eating again, just fine. Also then last week, he like, really stopped like I think it was Wednesday or Thursday Sam noticed he like completely stopped eating so we made the decision to take him to the vet on Saturday and he had lost so much muscle mass he like couldn't walk anymore um, and he wasn't eating so we had to put him down it was really sad I didn't talk about it until today on my insta because someone asked about him it's just not like and I kind of explained it Sam and I don't do any kind of grief public, no matter what it's about, what it's for. We just, we don't, we've never been comfortable doing that, um, which is why we didn't really like say anything about it. But people have been asking, like, you guys love to see the hedgehog, you're like, he's so cute. I'm like, yeah, but sadly, our little boy is no longer with us. I don't want to cry, so I will try and move on, but he's buried on family land, so. We have a little rock with his name carved um, out. So, yeah, that's that. Wanted to update you guys on that. That's kind of why we haven't. I haven't posted though. Like on Saturday, I didn't. I was so just not with it on Thursday and Friday, or Wednesday and Thursday, and then Saturday we had to say goodbye to Max. So that's where we've been. But everything else in life is normal. Just busy chaos. I'm waiting on Sam to get out here and get on his lunch break. Um, so that we can spend some time together. Um, I've been working this morning. <sighs> life's just, life's crazy. I now I'm realizing I start to have as many Walmart boxes as I have Amazon boxes. It really is a problem. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on and why we haven't been super consistent with posting. It's just been a sad couple of days. I was like to buy her, she was pretty warm. <laughs> I caught that on camera. <laughs> Like, um, but like you've never been a guy who did this. These are the ones I got on money the other day. Ah, he was, if you missed it, he was talking crap about my Golden Goose sneakers. I hear it even at home too. Um, we have the vacuum going in the background, which is why it's like super, super loud. But I wanted to document you guys, I did get ready today. <laughs> I did do my makeup. But wanted to share this little tip so i did this earlier and i wasn't sure if it was going to work don't know why i doubt tiktok tiktok's the best what is going on across the street like why are there so many people over there okay so i didn't know if this was going to work or not so basically i got these hydrangeas from the store 
dead. And I was like, you know what? I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm gonna buy these dead hydrangeas and I don't care that they're dead because I'm gonna revive them. So look at them now. So what you do, and this is actually what they look like now. This is what they all look like now. Not a single dead hydrangea. And they were like dead, dead. So you basically put them in, you boil water like scalding hot and then you take it out. I poured it in the vase as soon as it was done boiling. And I sat them in there until the water was like lukewarm. And then I also sprayed them a little bit with like, cause um, hydrangeas can accept flowers, uh, water through their petals. Look at that. Nice single dead hydrangea. OMG. Right, Doug? Wanted to share that little t trick with you guys. We have those tied up because we're got the vacuum running. Um, did you feed him? So yeah, I just wanted to share that little TikTok trick. Not sure who has said it um, on TikTok, but I mean, I'm sure at this point everyone's doing it. So it may not be anything new, but wanted to share because they are not dead. Hello guys, happy Tuesday. So gonna sit down and update you guys really quickly about my wax. So if you have not watched my last vlog, I think it was Thursday's vlog, um, go watch that. I talk all about my Brazilian wax and just every little lovely detail, but I want to update you guys on a few things and then talk about a couple more things that I forgot to mention in that um, vlog. But first I want to show you my outfit. I have this like monster camera and tripod, but this full outfit is from Walmart. I just realized the shirt's like not tucked right. Well, the slippers are from Express, but it's not really a part of the outfit. So I don't know who I am. I talked about this on my Insta this morning, but I am like loving the baggy jeans lately. I think because, listen, I don't know what it is, but since I turned 26, everything's changed <laughs> in my body. <laughs> and so like when I get my period, I am so bloated. Like jeans don't fit me and they look bad. And like skinny jeans, especially like this area in skinny jeans looks terrible. And I feel like in these jeans, like it's not as noticeable. And I just like how loose they fit. Like I just don't have to worry as much about making sure I don't eat so much that my like food baby is over the top. So I'm really loving these jeans. I know that's not everybody's jam, but I love them. Um, this shirt is all kinds of jacked up, but I'll pull it out. This is actually a Walmart top as well. I love the way it fits. Wearing a small, really affordable, I think it's like under 13 bucks. Um, so so this is a super comfy top and honestly a really affordable outfit. I think the jeans, since they're from Walmart, I think they're under 30. I think they're like 22, 25, something like that. Um, so I'll have this linked below for you guys. Affordable outfit of the day. And then I wear slippers. So again, if you have not watched the wax video, you need to go watch it. Um, Cause I explain so much about it there. But essentially, it has been five full days since I got my bikini wax for the very first time. And when I filmed it, it was the same day. So the next morning I woke up, it was more tender than anything. Um, and it was an odd, like it wasn't sore. It was just like if I was in the shower and like my hand kind of like brushed across where I had been waxed, I was like, oh, that's like a little bit tender no swelling. I didn't have any, um, no marks, no like bumps, anything like that. It looked totally normal. Um, she did tell me to like avoid putting self tanner on my area. Um, which is like not a goal of mine ever, but like I could see how once you're waxed, you could be like, Oh, I can just like put self tanner on it. So a couple things is you guys wanted to know like growth wise, how it ha I seriously, I still laugh that like I'm getting on the internet sharing this stuff, but um, growth wise, there has been no growth. Nothing has come back yet. She told me on Monday to start exfoliating and moisturizing. And my mind was literally blown. Like the whole way home, I thought about it and I was like, are you effing kidding me? Like I talk about the importance of exfoliating your facial skin and exfoliating like when you're self tanning, like your whole body. It never dawned on me that if you're shaving and or waxing, you should also exfoliate and moisturize that area too. What? So you do have to be a little bit more careful because obviously you don't want any product to get up in anywhere. That would be very bad. So I will link uh, down in the description bar below. She gave me a little sample size of her favorite exfoliant. 
I love it so much because you can use it as a mask or a scrub. I'm going to buy it from Ulta. It's not cheap. I think it's like $50 for a whole bottle, um, but like the smallest amount. Exfoliated everything with no issues. And so I'm very excited to use that. And she also gave me a little oil that I can use um, as a like moisturizer. So honestly, you guys, I cannot explain to you 10 out of, no, 12 out of 10. I recommend getting waxed. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, it hurts a little bit. It's like on a, like I said, on a scale of one to 10, we're talking like an eight when it was at its most painful part. And one of my friends agreed. She was like, yeah, solid eight. It's more uncomfortable that you don't know the person um, and you're like hoo-hahs in their face, but it's something I can look past because as soon as it was over, there was no discomfort. There was no, uh, I mean, and I'm sure it's different for everybody, but for me, there was no discomfort. There was no swelling. There was no, you know, anything like that. Um, the fact that it's been five days and I don't have any razor burn is what has shocked me. And I've told my husband, like, I think he is so sick of hearing about how much I love my Brazilian because I told him a couple days after, I was like, I think the thing that gets me is after you shave, a couple days later, no matter what, even if you get the smallest amount of razor burn, it like, it just hurts. Like where you wear your underwear, it's just not comfortable. And so I told him, I was like, the fact that I don't have razor burn is like what makes it right there, like worth the money, which it wasn't even that expensive, honestly. Um, worth the money, worth the pain, worth like, totally worth it. So it is safe to say it's only been five days. Um, when I go back in, I think I'm going after a full month this time. And then every time after that I've scheduled, it's like a three week time frame in between appointments. That's what she recommended. I will update you guys and let you know, but like, I think I'm officially a person who just gets waxed. Like it's just so easy. I've thought about doing my legs, but it's just like same process. You can't shave for a while. Same with your underarms. And for me, it's just easier to just shave my legs and my arms, especially because I do self tan so much. If I didn't self tan that much, um, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. And maybe, I don't know, I'll try it in the winter months. Like she did say, she recommends a lot of people start doing those areas. Like if you don't want to have, <clears throat> excuse me, hairy legs for a long period of time before getting a wax, like do it in the winter time, try it in the fall because your legs are going to be covered. So it's not going to be as obvious. And I was like, oh, that's really smart. So I may try it, but as far as a Brazilian goes, yeah. No, I'm officially a girl who gets waxed. Like that is, I totally get why every girl now that I know that does it, loves it and is like, honey, you have not done it before. That's all I do. And like now I, I totally get it. But y'all stories were cracking me up on Insta. Like the amount of talk that I had with you guys last Thursday about just, lip rips and rolling over and how it felt like you were at the gyno and like it was absolutely hysterical and it's just like another way for me to feel like we are totally family here we can talk about whatever we want here like yes it's on the internet yes it's weird but like we are girlfriends i can share my experience if it helps you guys i hope it does um but yeah that's i mean that's really it i have been so so happy with it um and it's just weird again like i keep waking up and being like okay today is gonna be the day that i get that uncomfortable razor burn or i get uncomfortable like red marks and here I am five days out with no issues whatsoever. So um, definitely if you do go to a um, wax place, like ask them about, you know, what exfoliant and moisturizers they recommend. I think it depends on each person. And she also asked me beforehand, like, do you use retinol? Do you use, there was a couple things she asked, like specific kind of medications. And I can't remember what they were. It made a huge difference. And I'm telling you right now, so many people are like, oh, it's not worth it. I heard it's not worth it. It's so painful. 40 minutes from the time I walked in the door to the time I walked out. And that was like meeting her and pleasantries and getting all my stuff set up, like all the after care and like everything. And that was the very first time I went, give it a shot. If you don't like it, don't go back, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Um, so that's really all I've got for this vlog. I know it wasn't very interesting, but We've just had so much going on this past week. Um, and I, I shared with you guys our loss of Max and I finally shared it on Insta and it was just not something I really wanted to share. We don't grieve publicly in any capacity. Like I've said, I, I wanted to eventually update you guys, but I think Sam and I wanted to get over the shock of it before we released anything. Cause it came fast. Like when Max started going downhill, he went downhill quick and, um, and whether it's animals or family, we've just never 
ever been the type of people to grieve out loud. Um, everyone's different. That's kind of that. But thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to get back to a normal vlog schedule this week. Um, it was just last week was a heavy week for us. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you in our next vlog.